Hello friends, this is Ambivious Mnemonics. Uh, please subscribe my channel and if you like my video, please like, comment and share it with your friends. Most importantly, please click on the bell icon so you may not miss any of my videos. Thank you. Hello guys. Uh, today, I will tell you about the important difference between the midpoint of inguinal ligament and the mid inguinal point. Uh, this is an important uh, uh, in uh, this is an important for exams. Um, so please uh, learn and focus on what I'm saying. Midpoint of inguinal ligament. It is present halfway between the anterior superior spine and pubic tubercle, and it's a landmark for femoral nerve. While the midinguinal point is halfway between anterior superior spine and the pubic symphysis and it's a landmark for femoral artery where you feel the femoral pulse. Uh, note the difference, here it is between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle while here it is between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic symphysis. And it's a landmark for the femoral nerve and it's for femoral artery where you see the femoral pulse. You feel it. Now I will tell you in the diagram as well. Uh, this is the diagram now. Just focus on it. Uh, this is the anterior superior iliac spine ASIS. This is the pubic symphysis PS. And this is the pubic tubercle PT. So the half way distance between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic symphysis is mid inguinal point that is MIP now and it's a landmark for femoral artery where you feel the femoral pulse then the half a distance between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle is the midpoint of inguinal ligament that is MPIL and it's a landmark for femoral nerve. So guys, after seeing this diagram, I, I know it would be really easy for you uh, to memorize the difference between the mid inguinal point and the midpoint of inguinal ligament. Thanks for watching.